This is our property in Cyprus. As you can tell, the neighborhood is well maintained. The area has great school districts. Now, out front, the property has good curb appeal, um, but needs to be trimmed up. It has very mature landscaping, so the trees will need to be trimmed back so you can see more of the property. Have little bushes here in the front, clean those up as well. Uh, you're, once you get everything cleaned up, you might want to sod the front yard. So, as you walk up to the property, see this is the garage, two car garage. The door's in good condition. Um, the garage door opener works just fine. So, as you can tell, the outside wood may need some attention. You have holes here that will need to be patched and taken a look at. Maybe wood rot. So, um, around the windows, you'll see that there's uh, small gaps. The home has been vacant for a while, so we need to uh, reseal, recock all the windows and make sure that water doesn't penetrate the structure. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. We're in the living room. Fireplace. So the entire property will need paint, uh, potentially new carpet, new flooring. As you can tell, you'll see signs of the sheetrock being cracked, just um, you know, dried out during the summer here in Houston or in Texas. It's not any signs of foundation from what we can tell. Uh, the duct works, duct work may need some replacing um, or at least some clean out. They haven't been ran in a while, so there's gonna be a lot of dust settlement. And here, there's some wallpaper. Wallpaper is not too bad, so you may be able to keep this one here on this side. Uh, for rental, you can definitely keep it if you're looking to retail the property. Um, we'll need to start texture and paint throughout. Here is a sliding door that leads out to the covered uh, patio in the back. This sort of a informal dining area, and that's the living room. We're gonna go into the kitchen. As you walk in here, you'll see you have plenty of cabinet space. Cabinets need to be refinished, uh, restained, or painted. Uh, countertops, as a rental, you could potentially keep these. As a retail, we'd uh, probably put granite. The cooktop looks uh, a little bit newer, so that could probably stay. The dishwasher looks in good shape. The microwave and stove may need replacing. So as you come into the kitchen, turn the corner, have a dining area. This entire kitchen is gonna require all new flooring throughout. It has uh, vinyl, so a linoleum. And you have another set of sliding doors that go out to the back patio which we will exit here in a few minutes after we finish the rest of the tour inside. Uh, once you go out towards the garage, you have a laundry area. So here is your washer. And just behind this is a dryer and some cabinetry. Let's go take a look at the rooms. So through the living room, turn to your right, and you walk into a pretty good size um, master bedroom. So as you see here, there's some holes in the sheetrock. There's another hole over there. Actually, here's a hole there. And there's another hole here. And then, if you just look throughout the property, it has vaulted ceilings in almost every other room. This being the master. So here's a sink, vanity area, 
and here's the bathroom. Um, rental, the tiles, you can, you can keep them, but it's such a small space, why not just replace them? For retail sale, you definitely want to change them out. Toilets, change, you actually need to paint and she rock this area here. Um, the siding behind this, these studs were going bad and rotten out. So the owner decided to recently rip everything out. And this is what he, what ended up happening. So this bathroom and there is the hall bathroom back up to each other. You can see that there is some wood rot more on that side than over here. So you would have to take that in consideration. Not anything too too big though. So here's your plumbing. So in actuality, he's already done the job for you because regardless, the tile would have been owed and you would have brand, had to install brand new surround anyway. The tubs look like they're in good condition and you should be able to keep these. Um, and then obviously you're going to put new insulation as well on this back side and when we go outside you'll see where you'll need to put new hardy siding here is a nice size walk-in master closet so it starts here goes that way and then comes back around here's another hole in the she-rock so coming back into the hallway we're going to go into the second bathroom and here you'll see vanity uh, just paint, new hardware, new countertops new lighting and this on top as you can tell the ductwork may need to be replaced there um, and obviously new she rock the she rock damage was caused to plumbing which has already been uh, repaired here is a second bath, which we just looked at a moment ago. So here you can see where there's the wood rot from water coming in. And obviously you can see the back side. There's more wood rot. So you replace a stud or two, but again, the demo here has been done for you. And you can easily replace those studs. And here's a plumbing. And again, tub looks in good condition, so you may you could be able to keep that. So it just requires a new surround. Here is one of the other bedrooms. Again, good size closet. Here is the other bedroom. And for a small bedroom, it's also two has a good sized closet. So, what we're going to do now is walk to the outside, check the exterior. So, everything here just seems to be working in order. Um, down here though, on the deck, You'll see there's some rotted out boards, which we need replacing. Uh, this seems to be in good order. There's the other sliding door there, and the other sliding door from the uh, master. So, uh, you can keep the sliding doors, or you can replace them with French doors. Either way, should be fine. The rest of the house on this side is all brick. Once you paint the exterior, clean it up, it'd be, it'll look really nice. The trees probably need to be trimmed back away from the roof a little bit more. As you can tell here, the brick is all in good shape. And as we turn the corner and see the back, you can see that the uh, sheathing is still there, but there isn't any siding above it. So you would have to replace probably the sheathing because it's gone, it's gone bad in some areas, especially over here near, near this area, which the owner attempted to put more protection for. But 
hasn't helped too much. So as soon as you get out here, um, you'd want to go ahead and put that on first to prevent any further damage. But obviously change out the rotten wood um, that already has wa uh, water damage to it. Here's the AC unit. AC unit appears to be in good shape. Probably needs some servicing though. Hasn't been on in a while. And just to get a shot of the backyard. There you go. Here's the other side. See the window there has cracked and they just taped it up so you have a, a window pane or two to re replace. Not too much. So again you can see the mature trees that would need some cleaning up. Some of these vines taken away and removed from the fence. And the fence once you remove these will also need some attention replacing some, um, some boards as well. And to get to the get around the other house the other side of the house faster we're just going to walk through the other side of the fence you'll see what i'm referring to in a bit so as we approach the other the other side of the fence you can tell that there's missing boards now fortunately the neighbor has put up a brand new um, cedar fence so you can actually remove yours use the good boards from this fence to repair the side fences that you have to repair. And you'll still have the fence, because if you notice here, the fence starts, our fence is here, and finishes there, and you can see the new fence. And that fence goes all the way down. So by removing ours, you'll have a nice looking finished fence on the other side. So we're just gonna step through here. And here you go. And there's your trees. So you see some more siding damage. And the reason for that damage is the fact that it's, I forget what it's, it's called, but it's almost like cardboard, the, the siding, and then just with time, it starts to uh, wear away, especially near the bottom there where the water splashes off the concrete. Here on the other side, you notice there's some um, water damage there as well. And the siding's been chipped away. And all these vines you see go up all along this wall. recently been removed and you can see the hole there so you'll also need some siding replaced and all this here is just leaves that will need to be cleaned up to make your curb appeal up here But this is our property in Northwest Houston and Cypress.